All right, guys, so we're going to start by making a windmill in part one of our video. We're going to grab a cone. Um, before we kind of get started, we want to make sure we turn on edge faces. Not that we're going to do a lot with it. We're just going to make a cone. We're just going to look in the left view and just whatever you think a windmill top would look like. All right. Then we're going to come up with our cylinder. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit to kind of get the dead middle. All right, we're going to raise this up to the top here. It's going to become our pedestal. All right, I want to make sure that's kind of in the middle. Again, only moving stuff in one direction. So I'm going to move the base here a little bit. That's pretty good. All right, let's get to where we can see it up here. All right, we'll make it all one color. Again, just whatever you're happy with. I'll go with blue. All right, we want to go into another cylinder here. We're going to come up to the top view here. And I'm just going to make a cylinder kind of sits there on the top. That's going to hold our wind turbines here. Let's make sure this looks okay. Yeah, that'll work. Again, we don't have to get too fancy here. Give this a little bit of a different color, maybe a little bit different blue. All right, so now we should be able to go into our front view. Let's see if this works. And we're going to grab a box. We're going to move it down. And this is going to be the front of our turbine here. And I'm actually going to grab another box and move it down as well. And so make it appear to be some blades. something like so we want to make sure that these are both the same color so i'm going to go select and move select them both holding down control and then we'll make them both be the same color i think in gray and then just because they're going to have to move um together with each other we're actually going to go ahead and group them and this is going to be something that we've not done before. We're going to go into our third menu and we're going to go to effect pivot point. You'll see why in just a second, but I'm going to move this pivot point up to the middle. Got to get that pivot point again. We're going to move this pivot point up to the middle. And then the one tool that we've not done yet is we're going to do an array. And this array is going to allow us to copy the windmill blades around the windmill so let's do that right now we're going to go tools array and if you've made it like mine sometimes you got to play around with this a little bit i think we're going to need to make it along the x-axis so we're going to go to count of four we're going to put it on the x-axis every 90 and let's click preview Nope, that wasn't quite what we wanted. So if that doesn't work, let's make it back, make that back to zero. Let's try it maybe on the Z axis preview. Nope. Sometimes you got to play around with this a little bit and let's try the Y axis preview. There we go. That's the one we wanted. Sometimes you just got to play around a little bit. And as you can see, when we had moved that pivot point, it affected it to where, oops, when we moved that pivot point, it allows it to copy it in a certain way. So now we're just going to click OK. And let's take a quick little render here, make sure we've got everything looking good. And I think that looks OK for our windmill. And this is the end of part one.